617. Let's get back to our weekend forecast with the meteorologist Dallin yes. Rose. <laughs> it's Friday. It's Friday. Finally Friday and we're we're excited for the weekend. I know folks at home probably in the same boat now as gas prices are rising nationwide. So are temperatures and the red flag warning conditions here in Southern Colorado. Let's talk about fire danger so far this year. We've seen 17 red flag warning days issued regionally here by our local National Weather Service office that's located down in Pueblo. And this pretty much par for the course, folks. We typically see two peaks of high fire danger conditions in Southern Colorado, one during the spring to early summer months and a secondary season that comes in the fall, though we all know that fire danger conditions now considered a year round threat here in the state of Colorado today. Red flag warning conditions on the lower end of meeting that criteria, both in terms of wind and humidity. It will be very dry today in places like the southeastern plains and San Luis Valley. Humidity down to the single digits by this afternoon with that red flag warning in effect from noon to 8. And wind conditions with those gusts up around 30. Now it's slightly more on the windy side tomorrow. So we'll see gusts around 35. And notice the fire weather watches, they become a little more widespread as we head towards Saturday afternoon. All right, so that's a look ahead at the weekend as we head towards Saturday. But let's get you out the door on this Friday morning currently chilly across the I-25 corridor and the eastern plains. These areas starting out in the 20s and 30s. But once that sun comes out, my friends, we will warm up in a hurry thanks to the effects of high pressure that's going to be building overhead and some of those drier, warmer southwesterly breezes. So not necessarily windy, but it's going to be a much warmer day with highs in the 80s in Pueblo today. Mid 70s expected in the springs. There's that ridge. It's going to build northward throughout the weekend, bringing us some unseasonably warm temperatures, maybe more in line with late spring as opposed to early to middle parts of spring. Then as low pressure moves in behind that departing ridge next week, the breezes we see this weekend turn a bit more windy as well as that. We'll see an increase in some moisture, so snow for the mountains by Monday of next week, as well as the potential for a few isolated showers and thunderstorms. Highs today as we start to warm things up, turn the corner, we'll see 60s in the mountain valleys, 70s and 80s for the rest of us. And check out these temperature trends this weekend. We're up near 80 degrees. I'm smiling through it because I'm excited for the warmth personally. It's going to be on the breezy side with daily gust around 25 to 30. And then Monday, really a typical classic case of springtime weather here across the front range. It's windy during the day with high fire danger possible. And then by the late afternoon to evening as that moisture moves in, could see a scattered shower or thunderstorm. For Pueblo, we'll see temps into the mid 80s on Saturday and Sunday. Upper 70s with gusty winds and fire danger Monday, possibly a thunderstorm by Monday afternoon. For Canyon City, pretty similar trend here with the warm up this weekend, cooling down next week, and maybe some additional shower chances towards the end of next week. For Woodland Park, I've got a high of up near 70 degrees on Sunday. Enjoy it. That sunshine's going to feel great up there in Teller County. By Monday, we start to cool down with the possibility of a rain snow mix by Monday night.